Hello everybody, Anthony is here and this video will talk about the blob tool which I used to create a bunch of industrial uh, concepts that I was playing around inside 3D code and here I will just showcase the essentials of the tool and some random little piece I did in a few minutes. And don't forget there is always a 3D code promo code in the description if you want a little discount for the software. So here I start with the cube. And it might be a bit low on the resolution, so I'll raise it up, maybe like three times more. I already have my blob tool activated. I will change the symmetry to something like radial symmetry of three. I kind of like to deal with three type symmetry. And I start drawing the shapes. So one thing I need to know is that this brush size that I have here is regulating the thickness of the layer. And if I navigate from the top and do this, I get a bit of a thicker guy. And I have my symmetry on, so I had to turn it off to uh, get more uniform uh, straight walls. You can also do these little things like that if you need to draw shapes thin from a certain angle. Uh, with the thickness, you can do this type of uh, cuts. Another thing I use a lot is the on-plane uh, tool because blob tool is a bit unpredictable. You don't always know how it's going to react from different angles, from different camera angles. If having it on a plane makes it really quite certain. I do have it on a hotkey, so I have it actually on F1. So because I was doing a lot of blobbing and I just set it on a F1 to turn it on and off all the time. Sometimes the other tools they start to behave a bit funny if you have it on plane. So for example, if I switch to a cut tool and I have on plane right now, it's kind of working. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it's a bit unpredictable. And yeah, I always combine it with other stuff. But uh, here, I have some structures going on already. So I'll shift to blob and I'll just uh, turn off the on plane and I want to draw a shape uh, from the top under an angle it gives me this stuff i was kind of lucky with the shape and you know you don't always know what's going to come out uh, so i mean it's a good and bad it gives you a lot of um, random shapes that uh, can be kind of cool and then i would maybe here draw a shape through and a big benefit of this tool is that unlike the vox height which is usually my favorite tool i can draw some pretty tiny shapes out here like this you know, so if you got to be uh, antennas or uh, kind of structural supports, I can do this pretty easily. And you kind of really can create a whole building out of it. So here you see I was kind of trying to draw a connection over here, but it didn't happen. So to draw that connection, it's pretty tough, so I'll try to do it from here. Okay, I did manage to do it. So, yeah, uh, 3D code has a, an interesting way of guessing what's going to happen. So here we have, we have a little structure. And then I can carry on building on top. And now I'm building a little tower. And that oil rig I was showing before, it's all pretty much was built like this. And let me see if I can. Yep. I was just using this three point symmetry and building up and up. So it's a really fun way and an intuitive way of doing stuff. And uh, you, know, you kind of build the support structures and then the planes and panels on top. And if you go for super thin stuff, Okay, I'm trying to get it. If I go for a super thin under an angle, it will create me this type of C slight. So voxels start to go irregular. Yeah, like this. And this can be your type of texturing or panel. It's kind of just interesting effect that I found to be 
like if you were to use different type of materials instead of using a metal you use like metallic metallic uh, sheeting with uh, rip ridges to it stuff like that one last thing i wanted to say a caution is that if you have on plane tool set somewhere here and then you decide to draw a shape over here you might get yourself in trouble if you're off plane drawing a shape in this, from another angle you can create a super long shape which would be like 10 million triangles and trying to create it right now i'm not, not really making it but yeah it can crash your 3d code it didn't crash it but it slows down it for like a minute until it creates a super heavy mesh so be cautious about using an on plane tool and definitely put a hold key there because it's something that i have to use on and off all the time to get uh, myself oriented around the shapes and build on uh, structures and i spent a bit more time just uh, carry on with the sketch about another six minutes which which i sped up by four times and you can see here I was doing, you know, having that symmetry on, I can do more unpredictable angles and then just cut out you know, stuff I don't want. The downside of this tool is that you go up in polygon pretty quick and you'll be up in like 10 million mark, 20 million mark quite fast and it can, depending on your machine, slow down your process. But if Feel it's a great little fun tool to do some you know, industrial stuff, architecture, and so maybe you'll find a good use for it. And yeah, thank you for watching, and see you in the next videos. It's about to be the end.